I'm searching. I'm searching for that special. Welcome back to another Fool Craft, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm having a great one. It's been a little while since we were back on the Full Craft server. We've been pretty busy uh, in real life. And also just hanging out on our new Crashlandia server. The link is in the description down below. Come say hi on Discord to get an invite if you're interested in a vanilla experience. Anyways, uh, I just want to say thanks again so much for all the support in the last video. You guys have given me a whole bunch of ideas for our Britannia build. What is going on with this stuff? Ooh, that's an interesting... Those are willow leaves. I don't think I noticed that before. That looks really cool. Anyways, you may not know where we are if you're new to the series, but um, this is our spawn town. Yeah. <laughs> our spawn hut, I should say, and our spawn mine down here and some other stuff. Now, the reason why I'm back here is I was actually going to work my way um, towards our uh, base. I'm just close that. Uh, I'm, I'm on a mission to do some stuff today. So, one thing I want to do is I want to get this flower pouch. So, we need to find... Uh, some white wool. I think I've got a white petal. Yeah, so if we find some more white wool, I think I just need a couple more pieces. We should be good to go. I could probably have it in my system uh, back at base, but I think we'll probably just kind of wander the landscape until we find it. Find some sheep just to... to she oh, we'll just kill him. <laughs> we'll just kill him. Uh, yeah, but basically, I'm, I'm hunting down petals. That's that's my mission today. Oh, hey, here's some, here's some wool. Ooh, I might even have enough right here. Check this out. Give me your wool. Thank you. This might just be just enough. This was from a uh, chance cube, a disco cube. Uh, so we are, let's see, where's, uh, do I not have? Oh, I've probably turned them off. But anyways, we're pretty far away from home. And I think we're going to need to sleep here real quick here. Let's just bam this on the ground. Nope, nope, can't sleep yet. Fine. It looks like it's pretty dark, guys. Uh, spam click. Let's get that down. Uh, but anyways, uh, oh, I'm going to need a crafting bench to craft that up. We'll have to go back. Okay, fine. Let's just go this way. Where is Spawn Town? Here it is. Uh, so we'll go back and we're going to craft this up. You can't sleep in thin air. No kidding. Uh, and we'll make this flower pouch. And the reason I need the flower pouch is it's uh, it's a way of collecting the flowers. Oh, I shouldn't have slept there now. If we die, we come back here, which is... Ah, it's okay. It's not bad. I shouldn't complain, actually. It's not a bad place to die. Uh, okay. Let's craft this up. Let's see if we can do this here. Yes. Bam. Okay, so let's uh, let's crack this open. And inside of here, my understanding is, yes, we have all the flowers we can collect. These uh, turn into the petals, which we need. And there's some automation that needs to be done in that aspect. Also, crop growing and things. We're going to get to all of that. That's, that's all going to come in the next few episodes as I learn Botania. Uh, but for today, it's mostly, I want to get, I have one goal, mana production, okay? And it's not going to be efficient. It's not going to be uber powerful. But there was this munching. I thought this flower was kind of cool. I know people do endo flowers and other stuff. But I was looking at this munch dude. It eats leaves and we're in a freaking forest folks that's got like thousands if not millions of leaves and i was like hey let's do this this is what we're gonna do so our goal today is i want to get a farm up that uses the munch dew i have no idea how to set it up but we're gonna go after some lime colors we need some green petals we need red and we need to make these runes now the mana diamond's pretty easy that's just a diamond tossed into the mana pool we need a runic altar which i don't have i don't know how to make that uh, living rock and a mana pearl. Okay, that's easy. We can. This is all straightforward stuff, I think. And a couple of these these things. So this is mana powder, mana steel. Uh, we make all of this stuff pretty easily with things we have. Let's check out the last rune here. Rune of winter. Looks like we need to get some snow and some wool and a cake. And rune of water. Oh dear. Wow, this is gets pretty nested. But uh, that's that's not a problem. We're going to go do that all together. So I'm going to just kind of get going here. I'm going to work my way back. Let's see. Let's take a look on the map. Hello? Hello? Oh, sticky key. Hi. Um, anyways, somewhere way up here is home. And I'm just going to work my way back to that place. I'm going to collect as many flowers as I can. And I'll see you on the other side, folks. It's out of this world, Pink. Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's kind of overwhelming, actually. <laughs> it's just so... All right, it's several hours later, and this is the final tally. Took me a little while to find a few of the flowers, uh, specifically these guys right here, these mystical yellow flowers. I, I guess I kept missing them, but you can see we've got all the flowers we need. Not a whole lot of these light gray ones, uh, but that's okay. So what I need to do now is I want to set up and test out something. So let's see, let's grab this guy right here. Also, 
had some interesting challenges. I'm just going to grab some regular dirt for now. I uh, was updating the server a little bit and uh, anyways, kind of messed a few things up, but got everything intact. But now hopefully automated updates are going to work better for... Uh, for uh, full craft. So that being said, this dead bush was our mana generator, but I don't know what happened here. Is this not hydrated? I assume it's not hydrated because there's no water block underneath. So we're gonna have to be cognizant of that. We're gonna have to fix that problem. And I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do that effectively. And it's gonna get really cramped in here, but we are gonna try a few things out. So let's go ahead and let's grab some dirt and we'll make a water source right there. And I'm just going to test out uh, plopping down, uh, you can see we got some weapon uh, weapon cases as well for some loot. Okay, so we're going to plop that down. And then I'm going to test out, let's see, let's just grab something we have a lot of just in case we want to break something. Let's grab these guys here, which is the white flowers. We can put that in there. Yes. Okay, let's do that. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for a second. Now, I assume... We can grow this. We're gonna get into a few other things today. So let's look at let's look at crop sticks. Let's take a look at crop sticks. I don't know how these are made. Okay, so it looks like they're just sticks in a pattern. Okay, let's grab this. Uh, we have lots of crop sticks in the actual machine computer thingamajiggy. <laughs> let's grab a few of these. Again, I don't I've never really done this. I'm familiar with how it's done. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Um, now, can I can I put this in here? No, I can't. Shift. Okay, I broke the stick. Can I shift click in this thing? No. So I don't know entirely how this works or if we can cross breed these things or make them better. It's possible we can't. Okay, so that being said, let's look at, is there a cutter thing? I want to say there, there's not a glass cutter, but we want to find some form of snipper snip is there a snip thing that's a sniper gun parsnip uh parsnip crop or butter no scissors maybe i don't know i'm doing this on the fly folks uh so let me look it up well that didn't take too long it's a clipper so let's go ahead and make this clipper and see if i can actually come up with a way to um kind of harvest these things uh, I don't think I can make them, so let's go ahead and do this. Whoa, what's going on here? Why are you freaking out? What? Are we losing power somewhere? Why are you having a what? What's going on, you weirdo? It's like flashing like a madman. Okay, so let's see. Let's make some shears. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea why he's doing that. Creepy. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's take a look here. Can I snip this? Oh, that didn't do what I wanted to do. Okay, can I right click this? No, I can't right, hmm, I don't know how this works. Oh, maybe, okay, 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 check this out, folks. Maybe, um, maybe it's something like this. Uh, let's, did I lose a whole bunch of those flowers? Did I lose it? I had 15 of these things, and now I don't have that many. This is really weird. And you're flashing still like a really crazy madman. Okay, let's put this in here. So let's grab this. And let's make a petal. Can I plant a petal? Okay. No. Can I put it in there? No. Can I put it? Nope. Whoa. Aha! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! That's it. I was wondering. See. Hi. Hi. Uh, there has to be a way to multiply things, right? Grow things, um, duplicate, if you will, and that's how you do it. So every one of these you pick, you get two. And so there you go. So these are growing. Now, I don't know if I... Can I poop on these things? Let's see here. Let's check this out. Apparently, when you hold shift, you, like, do farting stuff. <laughs> Are you growing? Do you grow faster when I do that? No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Oh, it's not really showing me the growth of this. I don't think. No, it won't. Okay, I don't think it works. I don't think we can use the farming station. Now, that, that's a little too bad. I was kind of hopeful that that could be a thing, but that's okay. That is totally acceptable. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we need to... 
I need to leave this here. We're going to need to make an unbreakable hole because I just chunk loaded this area. So stuff's going to start flowing. We're, we're needing some energy. Okay, let me, uh, let me go see if I can figure out another solution, folks. And we're also going to get locked up in the sleep bug. Anyways, back to where we were at. So here's a piece of dirt. So let's go ahead and we're going to put this planter right here. We're going to try this out. Okay. I'm not sure if it matters which way it faces, but let's grab some dirt. Let's place it on here. It says one right below. So one below. Okay. All right. And I think this works like the cow thing. Yeah. Where we have some tools and we need some fuel as well. We'll be able to feed this some RF. I know all that works, but for now, let's just go ahead and we'll toss some coal in. It's not efficient, but whatever. We, we got coal for days, right? Okay. Not ready. Doesn't have any seeds. So I'm going to put these in here and I'm going to see if that works. Okay. And so we got power, not seeds. Doesn't recognize the seeds. Um, let's make another hoe. Maybe I have a diamond hoe. Do we have a hoe in here? Ho, ho, ho. No, give it to me. Uh, and by the way, my computer wasn't working because I was out of power at the main reactor. So I had to upgrade the Escalium reactor a little bit to make it work. Uh, okay. Huh? Two level. What, what, what? Tool level two. Oh, give me a break. Seriously? Seriously? I can only put a wooden... Oh, that's just gonna... Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so we definitely have to upgrade. Okay, there we go. You got a, you got a tool. Okay, so it doesn't recognize this. Let's try this out. Ah, uh -huh. so it did recognize... Uh, so we are... Yeah, we're really boned on this so far. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't work. It won't plant... It doesn't recognize the petals. Okay, well, how about... Does it recognize a flower? Okay, let's uh, let's break this. Get rid of that. Huh? Yes? No? Maybe so? How about a flower? No? Let's break this block again. Let's place it down here. No? Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't work. All right, so I'm going to do something a little different until I can figure out automation of this uh, this farming system to get these petals farmed. I'm sure there's a way to do it, and I know you guys are pretty smart, so you're probably going to tell me how to do it. So I'm looking forward to hearing what your thoughts are on getting this automated. But in the time being, what I want to do is I want to make a fairly... I want to take advantage of this tree and take advantage of its natural system, this root system and branch system and bow system. And I figured we'd make a kind of a stepped up terraced farm. I don't know, kind of cool looking. And we'll, we'll, we'll get to decorating and making it all pretty in a little bit here. I just, first of all, just want to kind of lay out the foundation by plopping down some water like this. And then we should be able to just go ahead. This was a dumb one. We should be able to just go ahead and till. Oh wait, I don't even know if I need to till it. Let's just check this out. It may be, it's possible we don't need to do that. So let's grab this for a second. I did. Yeah, I guess it goes into farm. Yeah, okay, that works. All right. Look at all the pretty flowers. Isn't it nice? So these are all growing up nicely. I try to kind of group them by rainbow color, although I totally messed up a couple of them, but I don't care. Whatever. It's all good. So it's coming along. Definitely needs some beautification, but we've got our basic system ready to go. Uh, now we now we have a steady supply of two tall flowers, which means every time we harvest this, we're going to get four petals. And I believe we've taken care of all the colored petals that exist in the game. Um, and that's that just, yeah, that's done. So now we can just kind of go up here and harvest based on what we need. So let's go back to the beginning of the episode and sit in the water because, you know, that's what we like to do. Is it munch? I can't remember. It is munch. Okay. So let's go back to this setup here and let's take a look at what we need to do. So we definitely have all of these petals. So petals are not the issue anymore. Now it's going to be the runes. So in order to make this rune of gluttony, which is really cool, uh, we're going to need uh, we're going to need a couple things. We're definitely going to need this runic altar. Uh, that's going to be the basic thing. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, uh, I think I might have just enough mana to make some of these things. I'm hoping. So let's grab a pearl, and we need mana steel. So I do I have steel. I th wait. Do we have any mana steel? Mana, mana steel, mana steel, mana infused ingot. No, I don't think so. What's this one here? Manilian chicken. No. So mana, mana. Here we go. What's this one? Mana infused ingot. I don't think that's what we need. Let's go back here real quick. Rune of fire. 
No, it's mana steel. And how do we make mana steel? You have to toss it in here. So it's just iron. Oh, okay. So that's easy. So we just have to grab some uh, urn. Give me some urn. That's quartz enriched. Do I not have iron? I was like, geez. I know we're running low. So let's grab the iron. Uh, we need to toss that into the mana and the that uh, the ender pearl into the mana. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if this works. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I just... Did I just throw the pearl like a total noob? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <sighs> okay, let's take that. Well, actually, speaking of diamonds, I'm going to need a diamond as well. Let's take a couple of those while we're here. Okay, here we go. Q. Did it work? D uh... I don't know that I have enough mana. Hmm. Is there something I need to do here? Not. Not infused. Maybe this is one of these dig do diggy do diggity he diggity wiggities. Shift click. Yes. Huh? No. No. Mana. Don't want to go that way. That sounds good. I don't think I have... I'm guessing, based on what I'm seeing here, I don't have enough mana to do this process. Which is okay. So basically, I gotta go get some more of these hydrangeas. Alright, I've made a couple more flowers here. An endo flame. And I don't know if this is how it works or not. Um, but I know you can toss down blocks on top of it. And it'll start burning, I think. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you do it. So I've got some blocks of coal. We'll see what happens. It is currently... Filling up this mana spreader and tossing in the pool. That being said, though, it looks like we're actually starting to get some decent amount of mana going in here. Uh, so we are able to actually toss in a couple of these diamonds to get the diamonds. The get diamonds to get the di <laughs> diamonds to get the mana diamonds. So we're we're one step closer to solving our puzzle. So let me get the rest of this done, uh, and then uh, we'll build that runic altar. Okay, uh, one other thing I want to show you guys real quick is I had some of these extra black lotus, and it didn't work before because we didn't have any mana in the pool, but now we can just go ahead and toss this in, and so that generates some mana for us, which is good. So it's kind of like a little bit of a fuel, a coal fuel if we need it. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and look at the munch dew. Uh, so we are currently needing to build this runic altar, which I think I can go ahead and do now. Uh, so let's grab this guy. Let's go here. Let's grab this. I should be able to make it with that mana pearl. Okay, excellent. I don't know if placement of this matters or not, so I think I'm just gonna plop it down right here. Uh, that looks cool. So I think we can drop things onto this just like the rest of the the um, Botania items. All right, so first thing I wanna make is, uh, I guess, like a rune of water. Wow, it's quite, quite in depth. Uh, we're gonna need some mana steel and we're gonna need some mana powder. So I got some iron ingots on me, right? I do, I only have one. So I'm gonna have to get some, um, I think it's gunpowder. Let's get a stack of that. Let's start putting some of this stuff away, which we don't need. Do a little bit of cleanup. And that stuff is good. And we'll grab some iron and we'll grab some gunpowder. And we'll start get cranking on these these items. It might take a little while while we're waiting for the the mana to cook up, but it should be okay. Two, three. Let's make four of those. One, two, three, four. Is that right? I got four of each. Okay, let's start with that and see. Okay, so first thing we gotta dive right in. So we gotta make uh, this rune right here, which is gunpowder, nether wart, and mana powder. Okay, drop a piece of living rock and right click to get it. <laughs> Bam! All right, so uh, it was pretty. It was actually pretty obvious. So, not. I was being a little stupid there. All right. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go blam. We're gonna make this uh, one of these other runes here. Blamo, the fishing rod, and what else did we need on this one? Uh, let's take a look here. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, bone meal and a sugar cane. And that should make the next one. Sugar. All right, let's make this next rune here real quick. Whammo. Nope, wrong thing. Hi. Okay, so we got the water, the water rune. Okay, now let's go down here and let's test this out. This is the final. Oh, my mouse is all jammed up. Okay, here we go. So, whew. two green, two light green, two red, and one dark green. Okay, so. Wrong place. <laughs> Let's go here. One, two. Two, 
two light green. One, two. Okay. Oh, did I get this wrong? I think I might have got this wrong. No. Huh? Dark green? Yes. And what else did we need? Uh, the rune. The rune of gluttony. All right, here we go. Ready? Whew, here we go. Yes, and then a seed. A seed. We have seeds in our bag here. <gasps> Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. Give me a seed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's do this. Blammo! Ha-ha! <laughs> and what did we lose? Oh, it consumed the rune of gluttony. Okay, okay. But now we've got this guy here. All right, so this guy... Let's, um... Let's break... No. Uh, let's break this piece of coal here. Let's knock this out. Don't think I have any dirt on me now that I threw it away. Uh, let's grab some dirt. Dirt. Just regular dirt, please. Thank you. Oh, that's not the regular dirt. There's regular dirt. Trade you. Okay, let's plop this dirt down. Uh, did I did I not get the dirt? Oh my gosh. How did I not get the dirt? Dirt. 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 Take my bone meal. Okay, perfect. Plop you down here. And we'll try this guy out. Bam. And then bam. All right. So, that's like a level two flower, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Ah! He's eating all- No, no, no! No, no! Stop! Stop! Don't eat the- No! Don't, don't eat the tree! Oh no! Did you see that? The range on this guy is out of this world! Okay, we gotta go plant this guy down here. Okay, um, let me sleep for a sec. Wow, okay, so it's linked up. And if we get another one of those things- That thing is full. It's full. It's got nowhere to go. Okay, you just go that way. Holy moly. He totally ate through all these bush. Oh, that's amazing. I've got to get... Oh, you hear him. He's eating. Ooh, I've got to get the setup better. All right, so I've upgraded our little setup down here. I've added a couple more flowers. And as you can see... I don't, I don't understand the mana pool thing exactly. I'm hoping that's working the way it is. It says, I think it's, it says pointing to the mana pool. So hopefully this is actually filling up. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, anyways, they're eating all the trees around here. I was just looking at the, there is, let me just see here. Is there a way to do this? Let me break this leaf here. I really, yes, that's what I wanted right there. Perfect. Okay, so if we grab these guys here, and we put, say I put down a tree right here. Okay. They're still munching away, like crazy mad things. Uh, very hungry, very voracious little flowers. Let's grab some more bone meal. And we'll bone meal up this bamboo thing. So you can see there's some definite automation that we're going to have to do here that could basically create endless amounts. So let's go ahead and... Do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see what I'm doing here, right? Is that gonna bow meal? It doesn't like being that close, probably. Okay, so that's not a problem. But now, I essentially, we have this automated, I just wanna know, is it full? Like, I can't tell. Uh, okay, I did I put mana in there? Is that what I just did? Can't tell. I drained it. I think I drained it. See? Draining it all? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. I don't get it. It's Their bars are empty. Yes, 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 they're empty. And I think that's full. So I guess you can take energy. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you guys tell me. Anyways, guys, that's enough derpage for today. I'm really happy with our progress. Um, these are a tier two-ish flowers, so that makes me happy. This mana pool seems to be filling up, and it's going to town eating that tree. And you can see that is um, that is going to offer us a bit of a. Ugh, my mouse is so sticky right now. That could help a lot. I think we've got um, a potentially really good source of mana. Anyways, that's it. If you like this crazy video, make sure you bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button. As always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. My name is Crash, and I'm out.